Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. The Nisius JNR's red card against Valencia is rescinded and Mistala stand is ordered to be closed for five matches. With the club fined £40,000 as Spanish FAR finally act on vile racist abuse of Real Madrid star. The Nisius Jr.'s red card has been rescinded and Valencia punished after the sickening racist abuse the Real Madrid winger suffered on Sunday. The Brazilian star was targeted with monkey chants at the Mestala Stadium before entering his club's 1-0 loss against Valencia, the tenth occasion this season alone he has been targeted by racist abuse. And the Spanish FA announced on Tuesday evening that the red card he received later that game has been expunged and he will face no suspension. They added the offending Mario Kemp stand has been on order to close for five matches and Valencia fined £40,000 for the very serious offences of their fans. The decision comes as RFEF, Spanish football's governing body, finally acts on the vile abuse aimed at Vinicius Jr. The statement explaining the decision said various actions of physical and verbal aggression by opponents and fans against Vinicius has been carried out with total impunity and in the face of the passivity of the referees, Spanish far in La Liga. RFEF's ruling found sustained racist chanting throughout the stadium, turned the attacked victim into an aggressor. The decision was made by a three-person panel with a representative of the Spanish FAR, Spanish Ministry for Culture and Sport in La Liga. Valencia have 10 working days to appeal to the appeals committee against the punishment handed down. It is the first serious sanctions handed down by the Spanish FA this season, despite the Brazilian winger has being serially targeted with racism and hateful messages on 10 separate occasions. This included racist taunts while playing against Real Valladolid, death chants inside the now camp and an effigy bearing his Real Madrid shirt being hung from a bridge by Atletico Madrid fans. Mail Sport reported on Tuesday that UEFA have held urgent talks regarding taking a public stand against the racist abuse suffered by Vinicius Jr. As of Tuesday night, despite internal calls to do so, there was a reluctance from European football's governing body to publicly intervene into a matter that has shocked the world in recent days. Given the escalating nature of the situation, their stance may change in the coming days as they decide whether to reinforce their anti-discrimination stance after in-house talks. The feeling on Tuesday was that the matter is an internal issue for Spanish football. UEFA have a strong anti-racism policy and have a number of initiatives in place to fund discriminatory behavior abuse in football. Ante las desafortunadísimas manifestaciones de el entrenador Ancelotti totalmente equivocada en el que ha atilado a toda la afición de, de Mestalla de racista. El club eso no lo puede tolerar. Eh, rechazamos frontalmente esas manifestaciones que ha, que ha tenido el entrenador. Posiblemente es fruto de un error eh, en el idioma. Ha debido de comprender otra palabra. Usted está hablando de que, me está, o ha debido entender, como ya ha tenido previamente algún problema con el idioma, le matizo. Mestalla no ha dicho mono en ningún momento. Ha dicho tonto. Que, que, que obviamente aquí, aquí no... No, 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 aquí no, aquí no, aquí no venimos. No, es que creo que está jugando con un tema que, que a lo mejor debería desarrollar más. ¿eh? Entendemos que Ancelotti, cuando se dé cuenta del error que ha tenido y de las gravísimas manifestaciones que ha, que ha dicho, eh, deberá pedir disculpas de la misma manera que, que tanto el míster hace un momento como, como yo ahora mismo estamos eh, condenando cualquier tipo de, de insulto o gesto racista. De la misma manera, cuando se dé cuenta, porque se ha equivocado, eh, del error que ha cometido, debería pedir disculpas, evidentemente. Mono que sea tonto. El árbitro ha parado el partido para abrir el protocolo del racismo. Y si un estadio le grita tonto, no abre el protocolo. Habláis con el árbitro. Habláis con el árbitro. Porque ha parado el partido por esto. El club, lógicamente, condona cualquier, condena perdón, cualquier tipo de, de insulto racista y no solamente lo condena, sino que ya está trabajando para la identificación de aquellas personas que, que presuntamente hubieran hecho algún gesto, alguna manifestación, pero el tilar a toda una afición como la del Valencia Club de Fútbol de, de, de racista es una absoluta, un absoluto sinsentido y ante eso el club no se puede permanecer encallado y lo rechazamos absolutamente.